So, I was debating whether or not to do the entire tournament today, or if I wanted to split it up between today and Friday. Then, as it turns out, uh, my sister Marty's going to be visiting me this weekend, and apparently she's going to arrive on Friday. So, we won't be doing it on Friday. No, we're doing the entire championship tonight. That could be five games. We could end up having to play five games tonight. I'm going to do it all, though. <laughs> so, as it turns out, I don't think there's going to be a Friday stream, unless something drastic happens. <laughs> Hope you're ready for the series of your life because these kids on the squids are outrageously talented. I, I I believe it. I've played Splatoon and I get my butt kicked in it all the time. Squids are no joke. You don't think it's even possible to create a roster this absolutely stacked if you pick the best backyard kids available? Yeah, I believe it. No, Marty, that is totally chill. I am I am all for doing all five games tonight. And I, I don't want to be cocky, but... I'm reasonably confident that we're not going to be playing five games. I think we can win all three games, because it's best of five. So if I win the first three games, it's over, and we get the trophy. And I've only lost one game, and that was before I learned how to bat properly, and that was also because Jorge screwed everything up for it. Okay, tell, tell you what. If we end up losing a game tonight, maybe I'll do a Thursday stream. Maybe I'll stream tomorrow. We'll play it by ear. Anyhow, Artie's All-Stars, we're ready for anything. We've got a really, really good team going here. Honestly, I would say that the only weak link on this team is Jorge. And Jorge hit a home run last stream. So, he's honestly kind of redeeming himself a bit. I guess Jocinda's not the best. Kenny's also not the best, but at least he's, like, solid. But the rest of my team is very, very strong. But if Jorge sucks again, yeah, well, we always run that risk. So, the Ultra Grand Championship of the Universe. It's Artie's All-Stars versus the Inky Squids. Yeah, I was really hoping we would face the cheeses. But oh well. Okay. So, for those of you who don't remember last stream or who weren't there, Dimitri kind of failed on first base a lot last stream because I learned he can't really catch any vein if the ball is thrown to him too hard. With Tony as my catcher, he drops a lot of veins that Tony throws. So I put him on third base, and Kenny's going to be my new first baseman. Prince Dusk uh, mentioned that Jocinda could be a good contender for first base. If Kenny ends up being bad, I will put Jocinda on first. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this layout here, and I'm happy with the batting order. I think the one thing that's going to be tricky, though, is that... I'm guessing everyone on the squids is going to be, like, lightning fast. That means I really can't bunt or grounder with Pete, so I'm going to just try hitting power with him right to begin with. Yes, Marty, Jorge Garcia got a home run last time. <laughs> the VODs are up on YouTube. You can watch them at a later time. <laughs> yeah, I... So, first game against the Cookies, I won 2-0. to zero. The second game, I won 17-0. to zero. Yeah. <laughs> You know what they say. That's how cookie crumbles. Nom, 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 nom. All right. But we got this. Uh, no, the statistic. I don't think we can. Really, yeah. The squids statistics. We can't even see. So we can't even see how good they are. But I've got Mello in chat who has researched all about the squids. I'm just going to assume that everyone on their team is maxed out at everything. And now, without further ado, let's play ball. Well, fans, it doesn't get any bigger than this. Here we are at the first game of the BBL Ultra Grand World Championship of the Universe Series. I'm Sunny Day, and joining me is my pal, Vinny the Cookie. Together, we'll bring you every bit of the action. What she means is, she's never gonna stop yapping. It's my job, Vinny. Playing in today's game are the Inky Squids and the Junior All-Stars. Going into the final round, Everyone's looking at that Ultra Grand World Championship of the Universe title. But only one team will make it all the way. All right, let's get on with the fun. Okay, you cookie fans, give us a cheer for your favorite baseball team, the All-Stars. Woo! All right. All-Stars versus the Squids at the Super Colossal Dome. Oh yeah, we're actually getting a really cool, unique stage. We've got this massive audience, and it's going to be a good time. Also, really, Vinny, you couldn't have at least put on, like, a polo shirt for an event this big. No, he's still rocking his t-shirt. You know what? I can respect that. 
on the mound today. All right, we're pitching first, so we could potentially have a shorter game. <laughs> yep, the parents get actual seats this time. They don't just have bleachers. Here we go. Another chance to show them all who rocks hard. Not everyone on the players max out at everything, but two of them are. And none of the players have worse arms than three out of five. No weak arms. And this is on a scale of one to four. All right. Well, oh, Leah Wayne. She's one of the characters with maxed out stats. I know that. Because I've seen somebody else uh, ha on YouTube have to deal with Leah Wayne. Every single opposing batter has maxed out batting. Don't give a cool. We're pitching low and inside every time. I don't care if it's the cheese strat. If they can cheat and get better stats than you're supposed to, I can abuse the game mechanics. All right, bye, Leah Wayne. <laughs> maxed out? I don't think so. Chico Papas. Gotta love the basket backyard baseball lore. Oh yeah, it's a good lore. Okay. Uh, don't. Why is Lisa the one running after that when she's pretty far away? I mean, there's no point in Tony running after it because he's a slug. But he can also slug the ball really hard, so you gotta have it. Okay, okay. All right, he's he's a little quick. Not too bad though. Boom. Nice job, Kenny. <laughs> Dimitri's like, I wish I was on first base. <laughs> yeah, well, too bad. Leah Wayne and Jay Green are maxed out in every stat, and Wesley Kump a 9 out of 10 in pitching. Zena for me. Yes, Marty, this is an indoor stadium with stage lights. All right, nice grounder. Oh, she's slow. Okay. She's probably like the one slow person on the team. All right, no, this team ain't gonna be that bad. I was expecting every character to have maxed out stats. I was expecting to face nine Mr. Clankies. Actually, no, Mr. Clanky, apart from being by far the best pitcher, he's not that great at anything else. All right, Pete. I can't. I wish I could see what who was I at their catcher. Again? No, I'm gonna try hitting power with Pete. Might as well just try for the home runs. And the offering swung on. All right. Are the white fiends the dugout? It looks like a giant table that'll be filled with food. It could be that. Into the motion and the throw. On the swing. Oh, that's a solid hit. But that's gonna be right to them. Oh no, it's not. It's a ground rule double. Nice job, Pete Wheeler. Oh, that was beautiful. I don't know how... F I still don't know how fast their catcher is, though. If, if their catcher is slow, then I can bunt safely. Okay, with pitcher, Pete. give me one right over the center. All right, Kenny. <sighs> okay, Pete's on his A game today. Kenny, we're going to hit a line drive. Hopefully advance you and Pete. Hey, hey. All right, that's a grounder. That a yeah, slow that's an out. <sighs> Out of there. Okay, so their pitcher and first baseman are lightning fast. That's okay, though. Kenny can get out because Pablo is on. Oh, man, look at how high that batting average is for Pablo. Yeah, yeah, we're up against some fast fielders. Only, like, brown-haired, brown curl, brown cur only curly hair, black-haired girl is slow. All right, Pablo. You have been absolutely dominating with the home runs for the last several games, so. Yeah, Pablo! Oh my gosh, that went out of orbit. Like, that literally, that literally shattered the sun. <laughs> how far did that go? Do we get a count of how far that home run went? Or 661 feet?! That says 661 feet. I have never, I have never seen a, a home run hit that far. What the heck? Like he literally hit that out of the stratosphere. Yeah, Pablo's, <laughs> Pablo's been working out at the gym. Okay. Big Keisha, that was great. 
just don't hit it backwards next time. No, Marty, Pablo exactly knows his own strength, which is why he's the secret weapon. That's a nice hit, Keisha. Is that a... That's another home run. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing five games tonight. <laughs> Granted, this is the strong part of my lineup. Man, my team, my team, especially the big hitters, they do real well under pressure. Except Tony. <laughs> Tony does well when he feels like it. <laughs> oh man, imagine if Kenny got on base. Oh! Well, you know what? It's the Grand Championship. We're going to put on a show that people won't forget. Okay, Dimitri. You're... Dimitri honestly might be my number two or number three most consistent home run hitter. I've determined the optimum <laughs> Next up at bat, <laughs> Chicken Little. <laughs> you hacked Chicken Little in the game. He's a one at everything. The stretch cuts to the plate. That's the ball. Great for the shield. One out. Oh, man. <laughs> the swing, he's dead. He throws it. A swing. All right. That's... Oh, but it, you hit it to the slow person. Slide. It's the slide. No, it's not the slide. This opposing team must be feeling really weird. There's so many super strong batters that they're used to being on the other side of the situation. <laughs> That's okay. Dimitri did his best. Besides, Master Tony's up to bat. He's ready now. The delivery. Okay, well. Honestly, Master Tony could strike out and that would be okay. We got three points in an inning. I consider that very strong. That's the thing about Tony. He either hits it real hard or it goes straight up. Okay. Honestly, I'm glad that was foul because he would have been 100% out if it was fair. Yeah, you keep sucking on that Tootsie Pop, Tony. That's definitely going to improve your batting. Here's the motion. Here's the pitch. Okay, solid hit. Not a home run. But that was a solid hit. Good good effort, Tony. Good effort. Good effort. Alright, well, that's a strong lead. Three points up, I'm happy with that. Okay, Jay Green. He's the he's the other maxed out character. Target goes up, the pitch. No way I'm throwing the crazy ball. The one problem we're going to face, Lisa absolutely dominates as a pitcher, but if I ever have to replace her, even if it's like Kenny, Kenny's nowhere near as good of a pitcher, so they could end up getting hits off of that. Yeah, get out. I cannot risk Jay Green hitting the ball. <laughs> Tony, hit well and I'll give you candy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tony already has an unlimited supply of Tootsie Pops, so he's he's okay on the candy front. Yeah, our team is really strong. Next season, maybe I'll try picking, like, one or two pretty bad characters. Maybe, like, Ernie Steele. Ernie Steele is awful. Or Reese. I could pick Reese Worthington. <laughs> he's easily top bottom five. Julie is another super dangerous one. Max bat and speed. Okay, well, she's away, so now we have to deal with Debbie Nagasawa. That's like a very American first name, and that looks like a Japanese last name. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, Kenny. Kenny, you don't wheel off first base. I have two terrible players? Or hey, and who's the other one? Because, like, Jocinda is supposed to be, like, a good character. And even then, Jorge is, like, he's not great, but I would not put him in bottom five. Jocinda, in theory, is supposed to be one of the best characters, but she is, she's not. But you have to understand, if you compare my characters to, like, some of the trash that's out there, like Reese Worthington or Ricky Johnson, like, my, my team is very solid. Alright, Jorge. Will you 
could get another home run. Not if I keep swinging too early. All right, Jorge. Into the motion. Here's the pitch. Darn it. Looped up. That's wow. The height on that. Are you, uh, Marty, there's Sally Dobbs. Oh, darn it! Didn't mean to skip the in walk-up animation. Are you talking about Sally Dobbs or Marty Stephanie Morgan? Yep. Nice hit, Jacinda. Right to the right fielder. Who will catch her at the back of the head? Yeah. That's okay, Jacinda. Jacinda's high batting stat is due to contact ability, not high power. Really? Oh, that's stupid. Oh, please, please walk Lisa Crockett. Please walk Lisa Crockett. That would be so good. Nice hit, Lisa. Oh, but again, straight to the right fielder. Yeah, their fielding's pretty impeccable. And that'll close up the second. The All-Stars are leaving them in the Marty, I would I honestly think Gretchen Hasselhoff is the worst character in the game. I truly believe Gretchen Hasselhoff is the worst character in the game. So I, 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 I could pick her. That would be a pretty big handicap. <laughs> oh, please. I appreciate the... Jocinda's got a good arm. Then an Estrada steps up to bat. This young hitter can get the job done. Oh boy, he's hitting closed. <laughs> Let's throw it on the opposite end. He won't be able to hit it. I fail to see why Lisa Crockett. They say Lisa is a three at pitching and a three at running, both of which are lies. She's a two at running and a four at pitching. Who names their kids Xenon? Um, chemists. I'm not gonna. No, you know what? Let's throw the slow mo. It'll be funny. Unless they hit it. But Keisha doesn't even care. <laughs> Look of pure determination on his face. Is Xenon spelled with a Z or an X? Marty should know. She's dating a chemistry major. That's a terrific pitch, but it sure is hard on the arm. I'm glad I got the juice, though. All right, Tony. Not you, Lisa. Yeah, Tony. Way to go, Tony. Okay, it is spelled with an X. All right. All right, Pete. You got a glorious ground rule double last time. Let's see what is up. <laughs> Let's see what he will give us in the third inning. What am I supposed to do again? Just, just hit the ball with all your might and try to not make it go foul. Okay, well. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Wheeler with the power bat. <laughs> <laughs> Marty's asking the chemist now. Yeah, that was going to be fair. Oh, that's a glorious hit. I, that's not a home run, though. Oh, but they dropped it, so Pete's going to get a triple out of this. No, he's not. No, he's not. They've got rocket arms. Nice double, Pete. Pete Wheeler, he, he does not disappoint. I would say Pete is, again, I think I've said this before, Pete is second best or third best character in the game. Let's try Power of Kenny. Yeah. Oh man, they've just got cannons. Marty is dating a chemist who knows a lot about baseball. Also, he's in college, so he's, he's a chemistry major, not a chemist full on yet. All right, Pablo. The crowd wants to see another one. Target goes up. Here's the pitch. A swing. Crowd wants to see another one. He left his <laughs> on that one. That ball. Pablo Sanchez. I, mean, I I think he's gotten a home run like 50 percent of the time. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I am not afraid of no squids. I'm not afraid of no squids. Let's move aside, it's time for the All-Stars to shine. I will also never skip bubble run music. It's glorious every time. How many are in a row is that? Pablo's gotten a lot of home runs in a row. All right, Keisha. Here's the motion and the delivery. The swing. It's going up the right field line, and it's a foul ball. Um, last game, Pablo definitely got a single once or twice, so maybe it's three home runs in a row. Nice contact, and nice power, too, but I think they're going to catch that. Nope, they did not catch that because they bumped into each other. They pulled an arty. I could have gotten a second. That's fine. Because it's time for everyone's favorite powerhouse math nerd up next. I've got it out this pitcher, so I know what throws are coming. Now pitching. Oh boy, they're putting up the other maxed out stat. Okay. You know what? Sure, let them tire out and get slower. Not even close to that one. Runner on first, one out. She's set and delivered. A swing. Okay, that's is that a home run? No, they're gonna catch that. Darn it. <laughs> nice hustle, Keisha. Nice hustle. <laughs> Scouting is useless, Dimitri. <laughs> no, that's a that's a fantastic batting average. Father, son, Holy Spirit. Well, that was a good inning. Yeah. That's okay. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right. Leah Wayne and Chica. Chica. <laughs> We've got Freddie, Bonnie, and Chica up to bat next. <laughs> Tony spends more time on his hair than Marty does on her homework. I don't know if that means you need to spend more time on your homework or Tony needs to spend less time on his hair. Or both. Uh, well, well, let's give Lisa the juice. She's going to be up to bat pretty soon. And she's running a little low. Let's do it high and inside this time. Tony needs to chill out. I think he's been pretty chill. See you, Leah Wayne. Not used to fighting against a team that actually is good, are you? Trying to get something for the team. Let's play ball. Ooh, big freeze. I like that. I would love another carton of juice, though. That's Jorge's. Oh, dang, that kid's fast. <laughs> You're good, but I'm better. Cena from. I like Zena from A better. Oh yeah, Tony was voiced by the chillest type of dog. I forgot about that. Man, Lisa, you can you can hook the ball real well. It'll be really cool if at the tournament you fight the other kids you didn't pick. That would <laughs> that would be funny. In the, in the later versions of the game, sometimes the tournament teams will have the other, the other actual kids. <laughs> to be true, he's like, I remember when I threw the ball out of play when I was on first base. Yeah, the future versions of Backyard Baseball, you could uh, face off against the other kids. The shining bright tonight. And Gretchen was suddenly good for no reason. Here's the thing, Gretchen has two strengths. She is fast and she's good at pitching, but that those are not a good combo because if you make her a pitcher, she loses her speed. And she is absolutely abysmal at fielding and batting. So if she doesn't have both, then she's off. And another strike. If he can keep it together, he's got one more shot. Ready now, the delivery. Right three. 
That's fine, Jorge. Every time. I think they are picking on me because of my glasses. Well, yeah. We tried. Okay, Jocinda. Time for a home run. From the lineup, she delivers. Winning. Darn it, Jocinda. That little blooper sent him Goodbye. running. Yeah. What a bummer. First half of my team is really, really good. Second half of my team is not so good. Why well, pray for you? Play for you saw Ahmed in the league Here championship and Keisha in the World Series. Oh, that's a frightening combo. Takes the stretch and the throw. After getting Jorge, after letting Jorge get a home run last game, I I would love to see Lisa get a home run and Kenny get a home run. Because unless I'm mistaken, I think they're the those are the only two who have not hit home runs this season. Speaking of spitball, Jay Green stepped up the bat. This kid wants a piece of that ball. Jacinda runs like in Smash Bros. when you get the slowdown clock. <laughs> a little bit. She kicks and delivers. The right one. Now give us another one. If you're hitting open, then I'm throwing on the right side. Ready now and the throw. Yeah, Jacinda, I don't know why she's that slow. Maybe her shoes are too big. Don't try this at home, kids. Nobody out. She kicks the delivery. The wing. That's a foul. Wow. The height on that. Don't run towards it. You'll just waste your stamina. Also, I do believe I spy Dimitri's dad in the uh, audience. Yeah, this guy right... That guy right above the foul sign. It looks like Dimitri's dad. <laughs> Jocinda's wearing the iron boots from Zelda. That... <laughs> I'd buy into that. She really, she really does seem to have rocks in her shoes. And Jay Green going out with a smile. What a, what a good sport. They have yet to get on base, I just want to say. And the foul ball. One out. They have yet to make it to first base. I think. No, I'm pretty sure they haven't made it to base yet. Add that to the backyard baseball war on the wiki page. <laughs> Good. Oh, oh, she's not a good sport. She's going out with a scowl. Debbie Nagasawa steps up to bat. Slugger's Nagasawa, ready to show man. us what she's made. All right, well, we've got all these power-ups, but Into the no right. juice. Here's the pitch. The wing. The right hook. Right hook. Pitcher with a good right hook. Isn't all right, well, let's, we got to use some of these, then. And the count is 0 and 1. Into the windup. Here's the pitch. The wing. Another strike. What a pitch! A big freeze! Don't sneeze at the freeze. It's as tough a pitch to hit as it is to throw. And the count is 0 and 2. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna and use up a power up just to try to get an ever juice box. Good. Because Lisa's not gonna. Unless I do really well this this uh, inning, Lisa's not gonna get another chance at bat, so it doesn't matter if she's absolutely the out of gas. Are leaving them in the dust. Up by five. And I can always replace her with Kenny in the last inning. Tonight. All right, Pete, you've had two doubles. You've been amazing. Uh, hey, Mobius. What am I supposed welcome, to welcome. do, Welcome, First of many games in the Grand Championship. Ready now, fire. The swing. A blooper in foul territory. 0-1. Oh I should hit power with Pete all the time. Pete's doing really well with the power bat this game. Much better than he was with the grounders. Dang, get that out of there. Well, no, that's not a home run. Oh, that's right to Slowpoke McGee. Darn it, Slowpoke McGee. Okay, pitcher, give me one right over the center. All right, Kenny. Ready now, cuts to the plate. On the swing. That's a nice hit. They weren't expecting that. Everyone, all their team had moved inwards. Nice single, Kenny. Nice single. Pete Wheeler of Lone Lost Weasley. <laughs> 
I mean, he's a redhead. That's about the only thing he has in common. Alright, Pablo has gotten two home runs today. If he gets another one, that'll just be ridiculous. But I can totally see it happening. Nope, no home run. Right to them. Oh, but they dropped it. Okay, that sets up Keisha Phillips. Perfectly sets up Keisha Phillips to get a home run. And if she doesn't, Dimitri could get a home run. This is why I put a lot of good batteries right after one another. <laughs> Alright, Keisha. Let's see that power. Let's see that power aimed not in the rough. Darn it. Infield fly? You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that because otherwise it would have been a double play. It's okay. I have faith in Dimitri as well. I've determined the optimum swing based on current atmospheric conditions and the relative strength and weaknesses of the opposing team. That's good to hear. Take the stretch. Here's the pitch. A swing. Okay, that's out. Good effort, Dimitri. Good effort. What's an infield fly? Well, in this game, it could be a lot of things. Pablo has hit it into the outfield before, and it counted as an infield fly. I think it's if you do, if you hit a pop fly up and it doesn't make it beyond the infield and it gets caught, it's an infield fly. I haven't seen these kids play like this since that unforgettable game last season. That was the day of the broken back home run. I never saw anything like it. What a season that was. Jane the broken bat home run. All right, well, darn it. The coach called timeout. No juice. All right. Uh, we'll put Justin on first now. Kenny, take us out of the inning. Take us out of the game. The wind up and the pitch. A swing. Puff fly. She's there. That's you, Dimitri. That's a nice catch. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> Not that Jamie, Marty. <laughs> Turbo Man up to bat. <laughs> Ready for action. Oh. Get this Jocinda. Nice job. All right. Fred Benson. Yep, they have not touched base. <laughs> All right. He. Okay. Cool. He's hitting uh, open, so let's throw it on the left side. And that should be right to Jocinda. Oh no, Jocinda! Darn it! They made it. Not quite a perfect game. They did touch first base, but that is game one against the Squids. We dominated. Jorge, where are you going? Jorge, where are you going? Jorge, where are you going? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going home. I didn't get a home run this game. <laughs> I have just about had it with this baseball game. <laughs> Everybody's so excited on the field. They're jumping up and down. Even the parents out in the stands are dancing around out there. I think I even saw somebody's dog leaping in the air. This is Sunny Day, and Vinny the Coach saying, see you next time. Marty, it's Jorge literally pulled the Francine. <laughs> I'm so mad, but you, we just won. I should have won by more. <laughs> All right, game one against the Squids went off without a hitch. Holy cow. <laughs> Jamie wants a big boom. <laughs> also not that Jamie. <laughs> All right, we're one to zero against the squids. That went really well. <laughs> they have gotten no hits at all. <laughs> they made it to first, but then they were stupid and tried to go to second. And well, that was a fatal mistake. All right, well, I, I can't, really couldn't have imagined the first game going better than that. I was. Man, Mello, you were making it sound like the squids were going to be, like, terrifying. <laughs> They're barely any harder than your average team. 
Yeah, I think I think our team is just too good. We're, we're too good. 